Roman Republic degenerated into the Roman Empire and dictatorship. He said, the worst crimes were dared by few, practiced by more, but tolerated by all. Thank you. We're pleased to welcome Vincent uh, Bugliosi, uh, who's, give me the book. Who's author of several timely books? I think this is his latest one, uh, The Prosecution of George W. Bush for Murder. Uh, and he, of course, is a well known former Los Angeles County Deputy District Attorney, uh, remembered for his prosecution of Charles Manson in 1970. He's still been a very active, and we welcome uh, his appearance before the committee today. Mr. Chairman and members of the committee, <clears throat> I have been told that the rules of this House dictate that although I can quote what President George Bush said, I am forbidden from accusing him of a crime or even any dishonorable conduct, only being allowed to use the words Bush administration or administration officials. This will not make for the best of articulations but I'll do the best that I can. In my book here, The Prosecution of George W. Bush for Murder, I present evidence that proves beyond all reasonable doubt that Bush administration officials took this nation to war in Iraq on a lie under false pretenses and therefore under the law. They are guilty of murder for the deaths of over 4,000 young American soldiers who have died so far in Iraq fighting their war. And let's not forget the over 100,000 innocent Iraqi men, women, children, and babies who have died horrible, violent deaths because of this war. I am fully aware that the charge I've just made is a very serious one, but let me say that at this stage of my career, I don't have time for fanciful reveries. I never in a million years would propose a murder prosecution of Bush administration officials if I didn't believe there was more than enough evidence to convict them and that I was standing on strong legal ground. What is some of that evidence? Because of time constraints, I'm only going to mention one piece of evidence today. I have documentary evidence that when George Bush told the nation on the evening of October 7, 2002, that Saddam Hussein was an imminent threat to the security of this country, he was telling millions of unsuspecting Americans the exact opposite of what his own CIA had told administration officials just six days earlier in a classified report on October the 1st that Hussein was not an imminent threat. But it gets worse. On October the 4th, the Bush administration put out an unclassified summary version of the classified report so they could give it to Congress and the American people. And this unclassified version came to be known as the White Paper. And in this White Paper, which I have in front of me, the conclusion of U.S. intelligence that Saddam Hussein was not an imminent threat to the security of this country was completely deleted. Every single one of these all-important words was taken out. So Congress and the American people never saw any of this. Since we are talking about a matter of war and peace with the safety and lives of millions of human beings at that time hanging in the balance, and with Congress about to vote in one week on whether or not it should authorize George Bush to go to war in Iraq, what could possibly be worse, and I repeat, what could possibly be worse and more criminal than the Bush administration deliberately keeping this all-important conclusion from Congress and the American people? The terrible reality is that the Bush administration has gotten away with thousands upon thousands of murders, and we, America, the American people, cannot let them do this. During the question and answer period, if requested, I will give you words from George Bush's own mouth that I believe will prove shocking to most of you folks in this chamber. On December 9, 1998, a previous House Judiciary Committee issued four articles of impeachment against President Bill Clinton for doing something infinitely less significant than what the evidence shows the Bush administration did in this case. Indeed, it is a calumny, a slander of the highest rank, to even talk about them in the same breath or on the same page. If a House Judiciary Committee could recommend that President Clinton be impeached for what he did, as they say in the law, a fortiori, all the more so, with all the highly incriminating evidence that I set forth in my book, much of it documentary, 
you shouldn't have any difficulty making a criminal referral to the Department of Justice to commence a criminal investigation of the Bush administration to determine whether first degree murder charges should be brought against certain members of this administration. And I hereby strongly urge you to do so. Whether Republican or Democrat, all Americans should be absolutely outraged over what the Bush administration has done. How dare they do what they did? How dare they? <laughs> we'll just, just take a half minute or so to wrap it up. Directly because of this administration. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I had to interrupt you. I'm going to ask the uh, chairman to uh, uh, make uh, the uh, uh, comment or clear the room. May I wrap this up? Right just, here? just a minute, please. I'm asking the chairman a question. Uh, Mr. Chairman, a few minutes ago you said you would clear the room if there was an outburst, and I think there has clearly been an outburst. I'll leave it up to your discretion as to. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to clear the room, but I would uh, ask the the uh, guests uh, here at the hearing uh, to not give any indication of approval or disapproval of any of the statements being made by the witnesses. Directly because of this administration's war, there are well over 100,000 precious human beings in their cold graves right now as I am talking to you. Speaking metaphorically, I want you to hear, as I do, their cries for justice. I say that it would greatly dishonor those in their graves who paid the ultimate price because of this war were you not to refer this case to the Department of Justice. If we want this nation to become the great nation it once was, widely respected around the world, we can hardly do this if we don't take the first step of bringing those responsible for the war in Iraq to justice. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Our next witness